Oh, no. The word is baseball. I'm sure you've seen one of these before. This is the ball that's used to play baseball. And it's about the size of your fist. It fits in your hand. The boy threw the baseball into the catcher's mitt. Bleachers. Bleachers are the benches that you sit on when you're watching some type of sport or game. You might be in a gym or you might be on a ball field. The fans sat in the bleachers to watch the soccer game. Bolted is the next word. Bolted means to shoot out fast, to start running in a hurry. You can see our runner is starting to get all his body ready so he can run fast. The runner bolted out of the starting block. Cleats. Cleats are those metal spikes or plastic spikes that are in the bottom of shoes that sports players use to help them dig into the dirt and run faster. Crouched. This is, boy is showing you in the picture the position of crouch, where your legs are bent and you are down close to the ground. The sentence, the baseball player crouched low to catch the ground ball. Deep fly ball. This is a ball and baseball that is hit way back to the back of the playing field, maybe even almost to the wall. You can see the player is going all the way to the wall to catch it. The outfielder had to run to catch the deep fly ball. Double back. To double back means that you turn around and go back the way you came. The runner had to double back to be safe on base. Glove. This is a picture of a baseball glove, somewhat different than the glove you wear in the winter time. This is a baseball glove. The player held the baseball glove on his left hand. Good arm. If a baseball player has a good arm, it means that they can throw the ball really fast, really hard, and really far. The second baseman has a good arm. Got a triple means that the batter hit the ball far enough that they could run to first base, second base, and third base before they were forced to stop. She was so excited that she got a triple. Grounders. Grounders are balls that are hit hard and fast and they roll or bounce on the ground. The outfielder worked hard to catch the grounders. Homer. When you hit a homer, you hit the ball over the fence so the other team cannot get it, and you score a point. Huddled at the mound. When a, when a coach wants to talk to the players, they all meet at the pitcher's ground, mound in a huddle, meaning they're all close together. The coach called everyone in and they huddled at the mound to hear what to do next. Lather. Lather is the bubbles that you make when you have a bubble bath or when you wash your hair with shampoo. The baby had lather on her head. Launch. To launch means to shoot up into the air. 
we watch the rocket launch into space. Mustered all her strength. When you muster your strength, it means you are thinking really hard and trying very hard to use as much as you can of the strength that you have in your body. The man in the picture is mustering his strength so that he can move that wheelbarrow loaded with blocks. professional ball player. A professional means someone is paying that person to play that game. You could be a professional baseball player like the woman in the picture. You could be a professional football player or a professional soccer player. It means if you are a professional someone is play paying you to play the game. My friend Maria is a professional baseball player. Pumped arms and legs. In our story, when someone is running fast, it says they pump their arms and legs. And you can see in our picture the runner has arms bent, legs bent, and they are pushing hard to run fast. When we run fast, we pump our arms and legs. Punched her hand into the glove. You can see in the picture the woman has her fist of her right hand ready and she's going to push it hard into the baseball glove. Sometimes baseball players will do this just to um, think about that, what that ball feels like when it comes into their glove. The woman punched her hand into her glove several times before the batter hit the ball. Scooped. You could have a scoop of ice cream, which means someone took a some, uh, spoon and gave you a big lump of ice cream. But in baseball, it means to pick up the ball off the ground as it's coming toward you. The outfielder scooped up the ball and threw it back to the pitcher. Slammed into the glove. When something slams into something, it means it goes into it hard. So the ball slammed into the glove means the ball goes very hard into the glove of the person catching it. The ball was hit hard and slammed into the glove of the first baseman. Slid into home. When a ball player is running to the home plate to score a run for his team or her team, they may choose to slide into home in order to tag the base before the catcher can get the ball. She slid into home and the run won the game. Smile gleamed. If something gleams, it shines. And you can see in this picture, this woman has a shining smile. Her smile gleamed brightly when she heard the good news. Snared the ball. To snare something is to catch it. So you can see in this picture, the ball player is snared the ball, he caught the ball. The outfielder snared the ball to cause an out and win the game. Stole home plate. When we steal a base, it means that we run to the next base 
before the batter gets a chance to hit the ball. So when the pitcher pitches the ball, before it gets to the batter, the runner can steal a base if they can get there fast enough. Go to the next base. To steal home plate or stole home plate, as happens in our story, means that the runner can go fast before the batter has a chance to hit the ball and they can go to home plate and score a run. The runner stole home plate and the extra run helped us win the game. Tagged out. In our picture you see one player has his glove touching the runner. Inside that glove is the ball. If the ball touches the runner, the runner is out and they have to go back to sit with their team. She tagged out the runner to stop the home run. Tomboy. If a girl likes to wear sports clothes and play a lot of sports games and maybe wear her hat to the side like this young lady is, she might be called a tomboy. A tomboy is a girl who likes a lot of the same things that boys like, typically like, like sports. We don't use this term very much anymore but it was one that was used in the past and you may see it in books that you are reading. A tomboy is a boy, as a girl, who may look like and act like a boy may act. They may play a lot of sports or they may wear boys clothes. Her dad thought she was a tomboy because she liked to play baseball.